Alright, okay, so today there is no real vlog of sorts. I basically had to, to just handle business all day long. Like I said yesterday, it's just been a cluster. Uh, headed to Atlanta actually in the morning, like super early in the morning, for sneaker con, trying to get everything ready, trying to get Omar situated, my house situated, my life situated. It was really nothing of interest to film for you guys today, so I didn't, but I did want to go ahead and talk about what shoes are coming out. There was a shoe release this morning. First things first, today there was the ATR Mid Ultra Boost Drop, which if you know, if you follow the channel, I've copped two pairs already. I also copped the burgundy today, went ahead and got those. I did not get the black ones or the gray ones, but all three did release and they actually sat. And honestly, when I talked to people who were running bots, who normally run bots for others, everybody was running for Supreme and Nike today for the Air Max, I believe the undefeated. So no one was really after these, it doesn't feel like. They might even really still be sitting, which is kind of crazy because when these photos leaked, people were kind of going nuts. I myself was even worried about it this morning because the last ones, the green ones, sold out pretty quick, so. But uh, if you want them, you could probably still get them. They say Adidas exclusives on them now on the website. I don't really know how true that is because I saw them on sportsshoes.com for pre-order. So I don't know what's up with that. And there's something else I was gonna say about them, but I don't know. Oh, and the price went down. They dropped it to 220 instead of 240, so that's interesting. Uh, we've learned that we're gonna get the Prime Knit Aniki, which I think the first Aniki video I ever did was said one day they're gonna put out a Prime Knit version of this and it's gonna be on. It's still on. I can't wait for the PK Aniki. It's gonna be sick. The Bukaniki, as I would like to call it. Uh, it's gonna be super sick. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Aniki's probably one of my favorite silhouettes that dropped this year. Super comfortable. PK is only going to improve that. This Saturday is the global release of the Goodwill Out NMD CS1. I called it a CS2 yesterday. I don't know why, probably because I'm exhausted. I've already caught pairs of that, but the global release is Saturday the 23rd. I believe retail is 220, which is why a lot of people are turned off from this one. I don't know why retail is 220. I honestly don't. Uh, it's interestingly priced. Yeah, there's no real excuse to why it's 220, honestly. I guess this is the collab. Same thing happens with the colors. I think that shoe's super sick. It's a triple black CS1. I mean, there's no, with a trail boost, there's nothing to not like, I don't feel like. But they really didn't fly. Like, when Google out, their sizes sat for a while. Like, resellers weren't eating them up. It's crazy. Like, it's definitely crazy what's going on with resale right now with Adidas, which doesn't bother me one bit, but it's interesting to see the contrast from last year. That global release should be in all consortium stores coming up this Saturday. I don't think you'll have a super hard time copying, but you know, there's still only so many pairs made. So I talked about this briefly yesterday, the AD Parallel Dimension Pack, which is a reimagined Twin Strike and an Adi Star Comp. These two shoes are crazy. There is no boost. There's just crazy blue styrofoam on one of them. They're nuts. They're like super futuristic. They have basically every material thrown into the upper. They got straps, they got bells, they got whistles. They got shit hidden under the insoles. There is so much shit going on with the shoe that I just like couldn't buy, I couldn't not buy it. Like I just, I just want to see them. I just, yeah, I just had to get them. So who knows if I'll actually keep them or just sell them after I'm done reviewing them, but I did cop both of them. I'm pretty sure I caught both of them. Uh, so yeah, those are on the way and those have already released. A lot of people aren't really feeling them. I don't know if they've sold out. I don't know shit about them other than I saw them. They blew my mind and I was just, I don't know if that's a good way or bad way. And I was like, all right, cool, let's do this. So we'll see, I'll let you know. You know, and those, that, those shoes kind of follow that trend that looks like it's about to happen, which is the bulkier runner, which I've kind of talked about. I don't really care if the sole of the shoe gets bulkier as long as the upper doesn't get crazy. This upper is obviously crazy, so I'm just having an open mind. I know some people think I'm super close-minded, but this is something new, so I definitely want to try it out and just see if there's anything about it worth a shot. Um, which leads me to 700s. We're still waiting on the Yeezy 700s. We're still waiting on the Pharrell. We're still waiting on the Pharrell Complex Con release. What else are we still waiting on? Still waiting on 4.0 and we're still waiting on the Packers Mid to release. We know what the Pharrells are and we know what the Complex Cons are. Packers I don't have a date for and 4.0 still no one knows. Everyone's saying holiday which I would assume is correct. Today Yeezy Mafia released or leaked a photo of an SNS social status collection prototype which they're calling the ultra boost Lux, which looks like it's getting a release date actually kind of seems like a consortium release like the run through times where they just there is no store attached to it they just released it the rumor or what Yeezy Mafia says is in December so 
take it for what it's worth. Maybe we'll see the shoe in December. I think this one's super sick. Kind of reminds me of what a Rain and Champ could have been, and I'm actually wearing the Rain and Champs today. I'm talking about like these are nice. They're a little luxy, but the other, you know, once you see, ah, once you see the other shoe, it's you know, you put them side by side. There's a huge difference. Also from Yeezy Mafia, there is a NMDR1 that is solar orange. It's a size official exclusive. This thing is super nice. I know a lot of people don't like R1s anymore and are over it and are waiting for a new shoe to define them as a human. But I still love the NMD R1 PK and having them in solid colors like solar orange. Sign me the fuck up. And then the last thing I'll talk about is the Alexander Wang Run Mid 2.0, I guess. This shoe does not have boost. Probably won't cop it. Uh, the upper looks really cool to me. I like the silhouette. I like everything about it. But that one I probably won't get because of the lack of boost. I just don't think that I'm gonna wear that one. It doesn't have anything that really interests me. So for now, that one will be a pass. Two colorways coming. And I believe that's coming out in October. October 7th, I believe, is what, uh, also from Easy Mafia. So, um, but that's really it that I can think of. I know there's, uh, there's a lot other stuff coming out there's a bunch of tubulars and stuff that i don't talk about because those things don't even really hit my radar even though the tubular is adidas's highest selling model right now food for thought but yeah that's it that's all i got for you guys today i'm gonna get out of here i've got to pack still i've got a ton of work to do and then i've got to get my ass to atlanta uh, we have a drop on saturday we also have the pop-up at sneaker con and then a possible online drop sunday so needless to say i'm busy as shit um love you guys i'll see you tomorrow and I'll see you in Atlanta. Peace.